So in this video, I'm going to show you how I built my coronavirus tracker website I put up recently. And uh, we'll build out kind of one of these graphs. I don't know which one yet. Maybe, maybe this graph. Um, so this is the site I built. Uh, the impetus behind this was uh, Wes Boss uh, came out with a video recently and he had uh, built kind of a little coronavirus tracker. So I uh, thought I'd build on top of that and add some visuals and some graphs and stuff. Um, so this is the site. We have the confirmed cases, the deaths, the recovered, some charts to show that. This is uh, globally. Then we come down, we have the top 10 countries with most confirmed cases, so people can track that. And this is the rate of change over time, um, uh, globally of all the cases. So that is that. And then down here, uh, you can choose your country, um, whatever that is. Uh, we can go United States, where is United States? US. Oh, it's US. Um, so we can choose that and it can do that. And uh, it'll show us this with the, the graphs and stuff. So uh, these graphs are kind of cool um, and just help us track this thing and uh, hopefully uh, add some value. So we're gonna be using React for this. Um, and this was uh, West Boss's original uh, project that we built on top of that. So we're just gonna get clone that and then uh, show you how to build on top of that. Oh yeah, and the API is coming from uh, MathDroid. Um, when it's a uh, API and I think the data is coming from John, John Hopkins uh, University. So that is that. So let's get started with that. Um, we can just come back over here uh, and we can clone um, this uh, repo here. So that is that. Let's bring up uh, your terminal here. And we'll just go, let's pull this up a little bit. And we're gonna go get clone and paste in that. And then we're just gonna call it, uh, what, Corona, I guess. And we'll clone that. Let that go, good. And then we can CD into that, uh, Corona. And we're gonna open that up in VS Code. Okay, and we can actually exit out of this. All right, now we got this opened up. So this is React, but this is using Next.js, um, which is pretty nice in itself. And all we have here is a pages, uh, pages file, and this is what he, he's done so far. Um, he has some basic styling, uh, what else, country selector, stats. So we're just gonna add on to this. Um, and the main thing he uses is this stats component here. So if you go into utils, uh, he has this use stat um, hook that he's created. Basically, it's gonna take a URL, which will be the API, and it's gonna set, uh, it's gonna use state and stats and set stats. And then we're gonna come down here and use effect. And this is where we're gonna fetch our data. So use effect is gonna call fetch data. Then we're gonna come up into fetch data and we're gonna fetch the specific URL that we pass in. Um, and then it is going to give us our results and return our results and the loading or error um, if that comes up. So that's basically that. Let's actually bump this up a little bit so we can see that somewhat. And uh, let's just first get this up and running. So what's the command he has for this? Uh, let's check in our package.json here and it's just start. So let's go npm uh, run start. And we'll just, uh, oh, we have to install stuff. So npm install, of course, get things going and then we should be good to go. All right, so that's done. Um, installing, so let's try it out. So npm start. And we can just click on that, open it up here. Oh 
Okay, so this was his original uh, project that he had. So you could just select the country and it would give you um, the confirmed, the deaths, and the recovered, as well as the totals for everything else. So we're just gonna add on top of that and uh, basically just show you how to do, at least do one of the charts. Um, so if we come back over here, we can get out of the package.json that's running. Actually, we do need one other thing. So if we open up a new window, um, we're gonna use a package called recharts, uh, which is a React package that just is very nice for uh, charting uh, that I came across. So we're gonna go npm install, and I think it's just recharts like that. Okay, so that is good. Get rid of that. We can give ourselves a little more room here. And what we're gonna do first is we were gonna try and do, I think we're just gonna do the confirmed cases over time. So we wanted to see the kind of the rate of change um, with the dates. So let's come back over and get that going. So we have a compo uh, components folder here with a couple components we're not gonna worry about. We're gonna create a new file here and we're just gonna call it uh, rate of change.js. All right, so in this rate of change file, we're just gonna have a functional component. So I got a little snippets library here. What is it, RFs? Yeah, React functional, there we go. Um, so that's good. And we are gonna also bring in use state and uh, use effect. Okay, so that's good. Then we want to come down here, and oh, the other thing we want to do is bring in our, our charting package. So let's go over to that and just see what that is. Um, so that's here, uh, recharts.org, and we're going to be using this one, the compose chart with access labels, and they have a little sample here. So let's just, we're gonna copy over this import here and we'll come back and paste that in up top. Okay, so that's good. Then we can come down um, and let's just see if this works. So let's just give us an H1 here and we'll go chart and we'll save that. And then we can come back over and we're just gonna import that here, so we'll call it rate of change uh, from dot dot slash components slash rate of change. And then we'll just put it at the bottom here right now. And let's just see if that works. Come back over here, uh, refresh this. moving slow and we have the chart showing up. Okay, so that's good. Come back over here um, and we can actually get rid of this. Uh, I think we can, hide. we don't need this. So we'll go full width here. Um, okay, so the other thing I guess we're gonna need to import here is that uh, use stats um, hook that you saw. So let's bring it in here. And that's from dot dot slash utils slash use stats. Okay, perfect. Now, for this rate of change function here, we're gonna to wanna to set our endpoint. So let's go const endpoint, and that's gonna be equal to, uh, I'll just paste this in. This is the endpoint, covid19.mathdrop.id.api.daily. So that's good for that. And then we're gonna have our use stats. So let's go const uh, stats, which we're gonna get. And then we're gonna also get our loading and our error. And then we are gonna go equals use stats. And we're gonna pass in our endpoint here. So this endpoint is what we're gonna pass into the use stats function as we saw before. It takes a, uh, an, a URL and it's gonna pass back uh, the stats after fetching them from the URL. So that's our endpoint, that's good. And then we're gonna to wanna to have 
Um, when it comes back, we'll have a uh, loading state. So if it's loading, um, we want to return a div and we'll just say loading. Okay, so um, what should we do first? Uh, let's just add a little bit of styling first. So we're just gonna do a little inline style here. Um, so style is equal to text align, and that's gonna be equal to center. And that'll just center uh, our text for us here. And we'll just do an H1. And we will do what we'll do. Uh, confirmed cases over time, which is what that is. And then below that, we can get rid of this chart here. And this is where we're gonna do our actual chart. So if we come back over um, to our composed chart here at the recharts, this is what we're gonna do. So this is the data they're using. We don't need that, but basically, we're gonna copy, let's just copy this chart and then we'll adjust it for our own needs. So compose chart, we're gonna copy that over, come back and we'll just paste that in here. Okay, and let's start adjusting it to fit our needs here. So first of all, let's go and we'll just change the size of it. So let's go 1200 for this and 700. It's going to be a big chart, fill up the whole width. Now data, it, we don't have a data attribute because that was there, but what we do have is this stats that's coming back. Um, so that is what we're going to want to pass in here. And if you look at the, if we come back here, actually, we can see kind of what we need and this is what our stats. So it's going to be, uh, an array of objects with uh, some different values. And that's how we're gonna plot the chart. Um, so our stats object looks basically just like that. So that's good. Um, so we can come in, set those, that's all good. Um, we don't really care about the styling too much at this point. Um, and what else do we wanna do? So the first thing we wanna look at is the x-axis and what we want for that. And for that, we're gonna do um, report date uh, string. And we can kinda, we don't need a label for this. We can get rid of this here. So we have the report date string. Okay, so we're passing in this report date string and that's gonna be one of the values in the object uh, that we are returning. Um, and then in our what y-axis label, these values have to add up or have to uh, correspond with the um, how what the data looks like. So for us, this is gonna be cases um, and that is fine. And I don't think we need a legend there. It's pretty obvious without it. The area is gonna be um, the data key instead of AMT is gonna be total confirmed. And that's gonna be total confirmed cases. That's fine. Uh, the bar, I think these are all, we're just gonna put them all the same. So we can go here and for both of, uh, oh no, this and this can be total confirmed. Okay. And if we save that, come back over and we have our chart here. So it looks pretty good, pretty easy. And it has all the dates here. Um, and you can see, obviously this trend is not ideal. So hopefully we get that under control. But anyways, I just wanted to show you a quick little video of how uh, I kind of created some of these charts and built upon uh, West Boss's uh, video here. And uh, so thanks for, to him for that, as well as Mathdroid for the API. But hopefully um, that kind of gets you started and gives you a little idea of uh, how to build some charts and stuff and work with an API there. Um, the code will be in the description below if you want to look at that. And uh, 
And uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe or hit like. And uh, until the next one, thanks for watching.